Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dylan and I've got a question for you. Have you ever wanted to play Minecraft Java Edition, but you already have a long-term survival world on Bedrock and you don't want to start over, you just want to play Java Edition. You don't want to start the entire world over. Well, I got you. Today, I'm going to teach you how to convert an already existing Bedrock world over to Java Edition and vice versa. This will work both ways. Some stuff will work with it, some stuff won't. We'll get more into that later on in the video. But I'm going to teach you guys step by step how to do that, where to find the files, how to get the files, and all of that. I'm going to teach you what will work, what won't work as far as the conversion goes. Um, certain stuff behaves differently between the additions, like hoppers and armor stands. They both behave differently on Bedrock than they do Java Edition. So, if you like the video, if this video helps you out, go ahead and like it. Drop me a comment. Do the subscribe thing. You know, usually that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That helps, it helps the channel out a lot, and I appreciate it. So, without further ado, we are going to open the Minecraft launcher, right? There's one thing that we want to make sure we do before any of this, right? And that's going to be to load in to our existing world. So if you're on Java, you're going to load into your Java world. If you're on Bedrock, you're going to load into your Bedrock world, right? Now, the reason we want to do this is simple. Whenever you convert the files between editions, it's going to act like it's starting on an entirely new world, right? Um, we're going to go to this realm. Okay. We're going to hit the edit button. We're going to click on the realm. We're going to hit edit world. We're not going to do anything. We're just going to scroll all the way down and we're going to download the copy of the world. Right. And then this is going to download. We're going to let this download. We're going to skip to where it is downloaded. Okay. It's downloaded. We're going to hit let's go. And then we're going to exit out all of this. We're going to go to regular worlds. And we're going to see this right here. Deep dimples. That's my wife's Microsoft name. Uh, copy. Right. Then we're going to click on the pencil. We're going to scroll all the way down. We're going to export world. Okay. Um, I export this to my desktop just because it has to be easy to find right and i already have the file on my desktop so it's going to ask me if i want to replace it or rename it i'm just going to replace it do i want to replace it yes okay and then we're going to let this go and we're going to cut to where it's finished okay world exported successfully All right now we can exit this world downloaded. It, it, it exists. It's all in place. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring up chunker dot app, right? This is a website developed by hive and exclusively licensed to Minecraft. And then I'm just going to drag this file into the website. Right, it says ready to upload your world deep dimples 5650 copy world is ready to be uploaded. Dot MC world is the bedrock file type. So we're gonna start upload. This will be dependent on your internet speed, and we will be right back. Once it's ready to go, we'll be good. Alright. And here we can see that our source version is Bedrock Edition 1.20. And we can actually pick which edition we want to convert the file to. So we're going to do Java Edition 1.20. We're going to scroll down. We can either convert this now and keep it all as is, or we can edit it a little bit. And there we go. See, we spawned. Um, Where did we spawn at? Where's world spawn at? I've never looked at this. Ah, here we go. This is my mob farm. That's my raid farm. That's my mob farm. So our base is actually here. This is my nether portal. The base 
is actually inside this mountain, so which it won't show you, but that village that we exited it in is right here. This is the village, this is the little water well that we have, little sheep pen, this is our smithing platform with the lava, uh, this is our staircase leading down, blah blah blah, this, that, and the other. Right, so we got the world, we got the right world, so we can edit the world settings, we can change the difficulty, uh, we can change the spawn, uh, world spawns at zero, zero, but we want to spawn closer to the base, so we're going to change it to 300, 300, okay, so now we're going to spawn at X300, Z300, uh, the spawn Y doesn't matter, um, none of this really matters. Um, world border size, that's a, that's set at default 60 million. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay. So we can change the game rules, all of this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Restrictions, weather, and miscellaneous. All right. There's, there's nothing in the miscellaneous category. So... Uh, another thing we can do is dimensions and pruning. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to prune the end, right? I want to, I want to leave this as it is, but basically what this is, is anything in the end dimension within a, a certain square, right? So negative 10 by negative 10 to positive 10 by positive 10. That's anything outside that region is going to reset. It's going to regenerate. And that's nice because I've explored quite a bit of the end. And I would like to do it again. So this is something we're not going to mess with. But basically you can take, um, you can set this, say, every anvil in the world um, let's say every slightly damaged anvil in the world and convert it to, let's say, Acacia Signs. Uh, rotation zero, not waterlogged. Okay, so now every anvil in the world is going to convert over to an acacia sign, zero rotation, not waterlogged. Right, and the converter settings don't really matter. You can actually export these settings, uh, download the zip file, uh, and preload it just to kind of see if you like it. Right, we're not going to do that. We're just going to hit convert. It says we're number one in the queue, but really we're number one in the world. Just want to let that be known. And I will be right back. I'm going to cut to where this is converted. All right, guys, we're cooking. We got the world downloaded, exported, and converted. Now it gets a little bit complicated. So it converted our .mc world over to a Java compatible fire. So file. So we're going to download that real quick. We're going to let it download. While it's downloaded, we're going to click this arrow. We're going to click show in folder, right? It's going to bring up our downloads folder. You can see right here, I've already done this and we're just going to let it download. Okay. We're good. We're good. So we got the deep dimples copy. Okay. We are going to extract it, extract all right here on our downloads file. Doesn't matter. After this, you can delete the zip file. All you need is the extracted file. And once again, we're gonna cut to when this is finished and I will see you guys in a second. All right, and exactly one second later, we have our extracted file, right? We're gonna close out of this. We're gonna double, we're gonna double click that. It takes us to the exact same file. Right now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So you got to pay attention here. We're going to bring this file over, right? This is the file we want to find. Okay. If you don't know how to find this file, it's really easy. You have two different options. You can either hit windows plus R 
and then you're going to type in percent app data percent backslash dot minecraft backslash again saves that's going to bring up this file right here okay then we want to create a new folder for our converted world so we're going to call this converted world please subscribe how's that sound that sounds good that's it sounds like a good idea right we're going to hit enter we're going to create the file we're going to open the file it's going to be empty okay then we're going to drag all of this we're going to copy it with Control c on our keyboard then we're going to click back over to this file and we're going to paste it with Control v on our keyboard let that do its thing it's gonna think and boom now we have two identical copies of the same file right we can close out at this one we're gonna put this one to the side just because now check this out what it's gonna do what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open the minecraft launcher now, what we're going to do is switch back to my Microsoft account. So real quick, continued, it's going to think, and it's going to let us in. All right. So now that we're in, we're in my Microsoft account, we're going to open Minecraft Java Edition and Java Edition. We're in Minecraft Java Edition right now. So we're going to go to single player and boom our deep dimples copied world is right here converted world please subscribe and check this out we're going to spawn at 300 300 we're going to spawn with zero levels and nothing in our in our inventory right boom we have nothing in our inventory and i'm a derpy zora so we're gonna f3 we are at 300 300 and you see that little little fence right there? That's our base. So we're gonna go over there and boom! Here's our base. Look at that, dude. It's already up, it's already built, it's already running. And there's my mob farm. I call that Skypea, by the way. It took me a minute to figure this out. So that's why I'm adding it into the video. See, right here, we have an automatic potions vending machine, if you will. Okay. We got water bottle, water bottle, water bottle. We got the behind storage thing, but check this out. Nothing's happening. Why is nothing happening? Well, it's because the hoppers are broken right now so all we got to do is get all of the hoppers um, we're gonna destroy that too just so we can we actually weren't supposed to we didn't have to destroy this hopper right here um but I did on accident. So we're gonna make sure that's placed down correctly. And then we're just gonna hopper, 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 and hopper. We're gonna make sure all of these are facing this the right way, right? They should all be funneling into this hopper right here all right then we're gonna i need to save one of these for the sign okay shift put that back in there we're gonna check that should fix every hopper every button it should fix the entire machine all right so we got a night vision potion brewing we're gonna add um say redstone to it that should put redstone in the brewing stand and there we go the redstone is in the brewing stand and it's extending the life of our night vision potion so pretty much 
if you convert your world from Bedrock over to Java, and you get into your Java edition, and you start playing around with all your automatic farms, anything that includes hoppers, um, that I know of for certain, anything that includes hoppers is gonna, you're gonna have to replace the hoppers that is important so let's just try this again make sure everything's working perfectly we're going to do a little bit faster this time we're going to do a fire resistance potion that puts a nether wart in there um and then we're going to do a redstone and that should basically do it all automatically it should do fire resistance for eight minutes it should brew it all automatic that works by the way i got this design for this little vending machine right here automatic potions brewer i got this design for from icraft uh I'll, I'll put a link to his channel in the description below i'll also link in the chunker app i'll put the file path um for windows r down there um and yeah we're gonna put this up and guys that is how you convert a bedrock world over to Java. So hope you guys enjoy that. If the video helps you out, go ahead and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and look at my derpy Zorro. Anyways, guys, if you guys have any tips or tricks or comments, leave them down below. Um, if you guys know how to fix my farms or maybe even tell me, like, know why the hoppers break, between versions i definitely want to know that so leave that in a comment down below i appreciate you guys watching and staying to the end of the video and i will catch you guys in the next one